against Sam Reinen as we get ready to tip this one. And Dave Plantine with the ball in the center circle. Finally, we are underway in the tap controlled by Sam Reinen and the Cavaliers. Daniel Holmstrom will run it down in the backcourt. TZ will come out in a 3-2 uh, zone and really spread it out on the perimeter. The uh, Cavs playing some catch out front. Daniel Holmstrom on the right. Reinen running the baseline will get it in the corner. Dumps it down low to Hemrick. His kick out goes to Holmstrom. Now back to Hemrick inside. And the Cavaliers really open it up with the inside-outside attack. Hemrick with the easy lay-in off the pass from Holmstrom. And it's a 2-0 run. Kali Lee. Joe Spazina will bring it across. Gabe DeRosier is dribbling at the center circle. We'll get the ball right side to Gunderson on the wing. Gunderson will pass it off. Now the dish comes right corner. Apane from three in the corner. Shot up and no good. McNary will pull down the rebound. We'll haul it in and we'll give it off to Holmstrom. Back the other way. Again, TZ back in that 3-2 zone defense. Pass underneath and Hemrick on the block. will get it up and in. Takes it to the hole. Lays it down good and will draw a foul as he goes in. The Caval Cavaliers out to the start they wanted. An early five point lead. Bruce Gunderson will bring Tio Spazina back the other way. Reinen will pick him up between the circles defensively. Gunderson out front will give it right side to DeRosiers on the wing. He'll look at cutters. Now we'll find it top of the key to Carlson. Carlson with the dribble between the circles goes to Gunderson. He'll drive left, takes it in. Little scoop move underneath. No good. Gunderson flops at the end hoping to get a whistle and did not get it. McNary the rebound will bring it back the other way to Holmstrom. Right side now. Here's a long three from McNary off the back iron. Shot no good. And the rebound is going to be taken in by Gunderson and Holmstrom is right there and with the board and now TZ will bring it the other way as Gunderson will bring it across the timeline. Cavaliers show a little 3-2 uh, zone of their own here this trip. Ball right side will go to Carlson on the wing. Now out top McNary closes on Gunderson and they'll give the ball off to DeRosiers. TZ a little uh, surprised, I think, by Ron Colley switching to the zone, so they'll switch up into their zone offense. Now right side, Gunderson in the corner. We'll work it around out front, left side to Carlson. Pass uh, will come on back out front. DeRosiers takes it, kicks it left. Carlson from three in the corner. Shot is up and no good. Rebound grabbed by Hayline. He'll haul it in. We'll give it off to Holmstrom, who brings it back the other way. Tio Spazino will retreat and pick up defense in midcourt. Holmstrom left wing. Looking inside at Hayline. They'll find him. Now the kick out comes to McNary right wing. To Hemrick out front now. Here's Holmstrom from three. Let's fly and up and in. Cavaliers a nice start here tonight. An eight nothing lead and Lewis Williams has to take his first time out. Just over two minutes into the game, Ron Colley has rattled off eight straight to start it out. Foul shot and then Daniel Holmstrom knocks down the three. Ron Colley will switch back to man on man defense as Tio Spazina brings it across the timeline. But handed off to Gunderson at the center circle. Ryan will pick him up. Gunderson will give it left to Carlson. Now on the wing it comes off to uh, number two Diani. Yakpa dribbling out front will give it back right side to Rosiers on the wing, guarded by Holmstrom. Looks to get it inside. Now we'll dump it right side. Appen, a baseline jumper, little 10 footer is up and shot won't go. It's batted around and McNary will run it down on the far side of the floor. Gets it back to Reinen, who will bring it across the timeline, gives it off to Holmstrom. Now back it comes right wing for McNary. TZ stays in that 3 2 zone defense. McNary on the left wing, or right wing rather, will go top of the key. Now Holmstrom a long three, up and in again. Daniel Holmstrom feels confident. He's down in with two straight threes, and it's an 11-0 Aberdeen Ron Colley lead. And exactly the start the Cavaliers had the other night and what they wanted to do again tonight here. Left side, Carlson in the corner will give it out top to DeRosiers as TZ tries to find some offense that works. They're 0-4 from the floor here to start the game. Left side, Iakpa on the wing. Looks low. Now comes out top to Apane. Apane right side to Rosiers. Underneath the ball is uh, knocked away, but Holmstrom will run into DeRosiers here by the uh, Wombady, and McNary will dribble in the backcourt, gets it to Hemrick across the timeline. Now they'll give it back off to Braden McNary. McNary gives it left for Reina in the corner. Now underneath, Hayline on the block will go up with a strong shot and gets it up and in. The Cavaliers really pounding it inside, and the Bigs are responding. 13-2. Back the other way, Gunderson drives past and will go to the basket. Misses a reverse layup underneath. Rebound pulled away by Reina, and he'll give it off to Eberson, who brings it across the timeline. Eberson goes right side for McNary midway through this first quarter. Cavs up 13-2. Right side, Reina in the corner. Gets it to McNary out top. McNary goes left side to Everson. And again, the Cavs working it into the corner for Reinen running the baseline. Back it comes to Everson out front. Cavs will go back to Reinen from three. Shot off the back iron. No good. Rebound grabbed by Gunderson. And the Wombity back the other way. Left side to Rosiers will bring it to the wing. And now we'll bring it back out near the center circle on the dribble. The Rosiers will direct traffic as Iakpa runs baseline. Now will pop out on the wing left side. McNary will pick him up. 
Yakpa comes top of the key to Apanay, now right side to DeRosiers. He'll take it, tries to get past Everson, and Jaden Everson's going to get called for a hand check. Bound right of the basket for Tio Spazino with 3.30 to go in the quarter. Pass will come right corner to DeRosiers, back down low block. Crawford back to the basket, will kick it out front, taking it in. The ball knocked away as uh, DeRosiers took it to the basket. McNary will pick up the loose ball, and Ron Colley will bring it across to Everson left side. Now in the corner, Reedy, wide open three on the way, is up and shot no good. Rebound is going to be grabbed by Gunderson, and TZ now back the other way. Down 11, Gunderson will take it in, up and over McNary, and goes to the basket. First field goal of the night for Tio Spazina, and that'll cut the lead to nine at 13-4. Just under three minutes to go now, first quarter. McNary will dribble to the left wing. We'll give it over on the right side for Everson as they play catch along the top of this spread out 2-3 two, or 3-2 zone underneath. Hemrick will get it. We'll go up for the shot and we'll be fouled. And it's on the way up and in. Hemrick with six. It's 14-4 Ron Colley. Cavs will pick up man defense at midcourt. Check that. They're going to go back to that slider zone. Kind of the 3-2 look that Tio Spazina is showing. Left side on the wing with it is... Uh, let's see, that's Carlson. He'll give it back out front to DeRosiers here with 2.30 to go in the quarter. DeRosiers standing at the center circle directing traffic. Now we'll give it on the left wing for Austin Shepard. Shepard back to DeRosiers out top. Left side back to Shepard. He'll launch the three. This one on the way, no good. Schaefauer crashing for the rebound. will come in and get it. And the Cavs will pull it in. Tio Spazina back the other way. Here is Hemmer going to the basket and the pass a little high. And McNary... So Teo Spazina gets it back here with 2.11 to go, down 10, 14-4. The Rosiers will bring it across the timeline. Cavs will stay in the zone defense this trip. Right side, Shepard on the wing will give it in the corner to the Rosiers. Now they'll work it around the horn to... Uh Carlson in the right corner. Back it comes out top. DeRosiers will get it to Gunderson. Drives baseline. Takes it underneath. Tough. Wrap around to the basket. Shot no good by uh, Gunderson. And then on the rebound, Spencer Schaefauer pops, pops the ball free, but is going to get called for a reaching foul. Point line. Crawford will take it in. Now gives it out top of the key to DeRosiers. Cavs back to man-on-man -man defense here out of the inbound play. DeRosiers left side will give it to Carlson. Now top of the key to Gunderson. Gunderson guarded by McNary. Gives it right of the key for Crawford. He'll take it in. Tough scoop shot with uh, traffic around him, and he couldn't get the ball to go. McNary had it and then loses the basketball. Now it's a scrim for it underneath, and the jump ball is going to be Gunderson right of the basket, and uh, the referee's talking it over to make sure they have the call right before they give the ball off, and it will remain Tio Spazina basketball on the jump ball call. Braden McNary pleading his case, and so is Todd Neuendorf from the bench. And now the officials will give it to TZ for the inbound play. Gunderson, right of the basket, will put it inside to Carlson. He'll kick it out right wing for DeRosiers. He'll dribble along the arc. Now we'll give it left side to Gunderson on the three-point line. Gunderson, left side cleared out, puts up a 15-footer, shot rims in and out, no good. Rebound pulled down by Hemrick. And with 105 to go here in the quarter, Ron Colley back the other way. TZ into that zone defense. Reedy left corner. will get it out front for Everson. Everson goes right side to McNary. Braden will put the ball on the floor. Drives now. Tries to kick it off in the corner to Reedy and a block. Schaefauer will put the ball in play to McNary right corner. McNary will go to Hemrick. Triple team down low. Now the Cavs work at left side to Schaefauer. Back out top it comes to Reedy who will give it over to Everson right side of the floor. 42 seconds underneath. Hemrick will get it under the basket. Too far under. Had a tough angle and left it up. Hit the rim and it bounces away. No good. Hemrick was uh, too far under the basket and it kind of surprised him. And as a result he uh, misses the shot from point blank range. Tio Spazina spreading the floor here looking to hold for one, down 10, and uh, the, about a four-second differential up on the shot clock. DeRosier's just dribbling at the center circle, slowing this one down. Cavaliers in man defense here. DeRosier's will take it in, now will drive, and I believe a foul is going to be called inside, really. Wow, it looked like Al Gunderson will inbound right of the basket with 12 seconds to play in the quarter. Pass will come out front for Austin Shepard. Shepard will drive, gets uh, Reedy moving, and now Shepard will pull up a 10-footer, knock it down good. Three seconds to go. McNary will bring it and will launch one from midcourt as the buzzer sounds. It's off the mark. Team Tio Spazina, six. Cavaliers with the ball to start the second quarter, and Daniel Holmstrom will start the quarter out on the floor. He'll give the ball to Sam Ryan and left wing. Now to Hemrick in the corner. Back it comes to Ryan and out front. Left side, McNary. Good look for three from the left corner. Is up and long, no good. The rebound will skip out. McNary still looking for his first points of the night. And TZ back the other way. Right side, Austin Shepard on the wing. will get it out top to DeRosiers. Macaulay back 
into that uh, slider zone, that 1-2-2 uh, two, two or 3-2, however you want to look at it. Left side, Gunderson in the corner, works it down low, and the inlet pass for Carlson is knocked away. The Cavs try to get a quick pass down the floor and throw it right back to Tio Spazina. Now Gunderson from three, shot will rim in and out, no good. And now the Cavaliers with the rebound try to get it to Holmstrom, nearly knocking it away again was Austin Shepard, but Holmstrom will get the ball back and will bring it across the timeline. TZ putting a lot of pressure on the perimeter, and this is where Ron Colley wants to look inside here for their bigs if they can get it to him. Ryan will skip it out top to Holmstrom, down low, and that's a pass at uh, Hemrick's feet that will bounce away. Loose ball picked up by DeRosiers. He'll get the ball right side to Gunderson. Gunderson will attack the basket, puts the shot up in traffic. Hemrick there to alter the shot, and again, on a slash to the basket, Gunderson comes away empty-handed. He is just one of seven from the floor here to start this game. Ron Colley continues with a 14-6 lead, but have gone cold themselves. McNary will go left side to Reinen in the corner. Back out top it comes. McNary will penetrate, kicks it right side. Holmstrom from three. Let's fly. Off the back rim, no good, but the rebound will kick out to McNary. He'll launch from three and knock it down good. McNary gets his first field goal to go finally, and the Cavaliers break about a four-minute scoring drought and will get the lead back to double digits at 17-6. 6.15 to play first half. DeRosiers will bring TZ across the timeline. They'll go left side to Austin Shepard in the corner. Roncalli back into kind of a 2-1-2 uh, two -two zone look here this time. Now they'll... TZ will bring it to Gunderson, right corner. Back it comes to Rosiers. He'll penetrate the lane, gets it left corner. Shepard, or Crawford rather, will get it. Now the long skip pass comes over to Gunderson, right side. They'll feed it down low. Back the kick out comes to Gunderson, and he'll be called for a travel as he Rosiers have a seat. TZ will show a 2 1 2 full court zone trap. Ron Colley will get it across the timeline to Hemrick. Now they'll give it off to Holmstrom on the left side of the floor. Ball comes left side to Ryan in the corner, down low. Uh, Hayline tries to dump it off to Hemrick and throws it away. Zane will call a timeout off the Ron Colley lead. Tio Spazina with the basketball after a Ron Colley turnover, and they'll let it roll all the way out to midcourt before Gabe DeRosiers will pick it up. Cavaliers back into that slider zone will uh, try to take away the perimeter. Out front the uh, skip pass will come right side to Jaron Apine on the corner. Pass for Gunderson. Knocked away, but Gunderson will get it back. Now the kick into the corner. Right side, Iakpa will dribble all the way back out to the center circle and will give it off to Apine. Apine will go right side to Kobe Carlson. He'll uh, get the ball on the wing. Now feeds it back into the basket. Uh, Apine loses it. Will kick it out in the corner for Carlson, and he'll launch a three and knock it down good. First three of the ball game and first points of the game for Kobe Carlson to cut the lead to eight. Three minutes gone, second quarter. Cavs will get throw it over the top of the uh, Tio Spazina full court pressure. Hayline will get the pass and will leave it off to Daniel Holmstrom. Holmstrom, left of the key, will get it to Reinen in the corner. Down underneath, a wide open on the block is Hayline, and he'll get it up and in. Hayline got good position. Reinen finds him, and Hayline has four in the ball game. Cavaliers shooting a good percentage. Five turnovers, though, here in this first half so far have kind of hurt them. Apine, right of the key, will give it left side to DeRosiers. Now back it comes to Apine, right side. Carlson will launch another three. This one off the back iron, no good. Long rebound is grabbed by Holmstrom. He'll haul it in and let traffic clear. Now Daniel back the other way. We'll get it down underneath the Hemrick. Wide open on the block. We'll lay it up and in. And the Cavaliers really attacking inside again. Had to build the lead back up to 21-9. 12 point advantage. Gunderson had defenders backpedaling but passes up a three point look left wing. You give it off on the perimeter. Now it goes to Iakpa at the center circle. Iakpa right side to Apine. He'll dribble to the free throw line. Now leaves it back off and the ball off of Apine. Uh, Holmstrom will pick it up. He'll attack it and will get it across the timeline. Double team backs it off to McNary out front. McNary will go back to Holmstrom. Wide open three is up and off the back iron. No good. Rebound is grabbed on the backside by uh, Iakpa. He'll leave it right side to DeRosiers on the perimeter. Back to Iakpa between the circles. Gabe DeRosiers will leave it to Jared Apine. Gunderson trying to get position on the block as TZ works a perimeter. Now uh, underneath the Rosiers had great position but at 5-9 in the land of the Giants rushed his, rushed his shot and misses it uh, from about 5 feet out. Ron Colley the rebound. McNary with 320 to go will direct traffic. Now they'll flash it into Hayline. Little turnaround from 8 is up and in. And the Cavaliers all of a 
of sudden really looking inside and exploiting the space with TZ playing pressure out front. 23-9 Ron Colley, the biggest lead of the ball game for the Cavs with 3.05 to go first half. Between the circles is Jared Apine. He'll get it left side to Gunderson. Gunderson dribbles down to the corner. Now the skip pass will come back out top to Apine. Left side back to Gunderson. Closing on him on the perimeter is Hemrick. Cavs in that slider zone defense. Here's a long three from Iakpa up and in. Dion Iakpa knocks it down from a long ways out right side. And that'll close it to an 11-point lead for the Cavs, 23-12. Holmstrom with the ball across the timeline will give it to McNary. Now right side to Ryan and underneath is Hemrick. Double team down the block and he tries to kick it out on the perimeter and Arichio Spazino. Cavs will inbound right of the basket. Kobe Carlson out of the game and Austin Shepard back in now for Tio Spazina with 2.33 to play in the half. Ryan will get it to the free throw line to McNary. He'll pull up a little 10 footer in the lane. Leaves it short, no good. And a foul. McNary's going to go over the back. And free throws. Right side, Iakpa in the corner. We'll skip it out front to DeRosiers. Looking at the three. Now we'll pass it up. We'll go left side to Gunderson on the wing. He'll launch a long three way off the mark. And a foul is going to be called on the rebound. No good. And Ryan will run down the basketball. And we'll give it off to McNary with 2.15 to go here in the first half. McNary will get it across the timeline with the pass to Holmstrom. Back into the 1-2-2 zone is TZ. Left side, Reinen in the corner. We'll get it out top. Now Reinen looking to cut baseline. We'll take it in. Baseline drive himself to the basket. Shot no good. But Sam will draw a foul and we'll go in and TZ will push it the other way. Gunderson in traffic takes it all the way to the hole and lays it up and in. Just outran everybody back and McNary didn't want to pick up a cheap foul. Out of position. Across the timeline. Everson gets a pass. We'll get it to Reinen on the wing. Now to Hemrick right corner. Back it comes to Reinen on the perimeter. They'll back it off to Everson out front. Everson right of the center circle. Kind of gets his bearings, and now we'll give it off to McNary on the left wing. McNary with one dribble. We'll give it up, and we'll give it back off to Everson right side. Cavs trying to flash their bigs inside. Now McNary, a long three is up and shot no good. Rebound underneath. Hayline had it. It's knocked away by Carlson. TZ. Reinen will inbound right of the basket, and we'll uh, lob it out left of the key to Hayline out on the perimeter. Cavs work it back to McNary right side. Hemrick trying to open up, but double team down low. Out front, the pass for Everson a little high but Jaden goes up and gets it and now we'll get it back off. Underneath the pass comes right baseline to Hemrick. Back to McNary out front. Hayline really working himself trying to get open. Now they'll feed it to him down low. Kick pass comes out front. McNary will attack the basket. Puts an 8 foot runner off the glass hard but he gets it to go in good. McNary kind of hit it hard but gets the kind roll. And back to easy now with under a minute to go. Trailing 26-14. Left side in the corner. Kobe Carlson will get it out top of the key for Iakpa. Right side to Austin Shepard. As TZ will back it up and will try to be patient here with Ron Colley back in the zone defense. And now Hayline will pop in, steal the ball away. Uh, getting the ball back is Shepard. He'll take it to the basket and put it good, but for TZ. Front end on the way is off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down by Hemrick. He'll give it off to McNary, and the shot clock is off here for the closing moments of this first half. McNary will get it to Holmstrom, who brings it across the timeline. Holmstrom will give it left for Ryan on the perimeter. TZ again staying in that 1-2-2 two, two, or 3-2 zone defense, but putting a lot of pressure on out front. Holmstrom and Reinen play catch on the front side of the zone. And now Reinen has it with 10 seconds to go. They'll feed it to McNary. Right side backs up for three. Shot is up and long no good. Rebound is grabbed by Schaefauer. He'll put the shot up no good. But then Hemrick there with the follow to put it up and in. And that will be the first half of play. The Cavaliers inbound to Gabe DeRosiers. And we are underway. Again, TZ down 14. Biggest deficit of the night for them. Left side, Kobe Carlson will get it on the wing. Gets it out front from Apine. Now they'll get it high post. Gunderson triple teamed at the free throw line. Ball knocked away by Holmstrom but picked back up by DeRosiers. They'll give it back off. Left side to Carlson in the corner. Carlson will get it to Apine. Triple team now driving to the basket. Shot is up by Carlson but swatted away by Hemrick and the Cavaliers will bring down the basketball and make a stop on the first series of the second half. TZ stays in that 1-2-2 two, two zone. Down low. Hemrick on the block. Double teamed. Will uh, have the ball knocked out of his hands as he from the baseline. And we'll get it to Hemrick in the corner. He'll take a dribble 
Venable strong to the hole. He'll put it up and in. Kobe Carlson will commit the foul. And that all knocked it away, but couldn't haul it in. Cavs come away empty-handed, and TZ back the other way. Gabe DeRosiers will get it out front for Apane. He'll drive right, gives it on the wing. Here's a long three from Iakpa up off the back rim. No good. Rebound run down by Ryan and knocked away from behind by Apane. Again, T.O. Spazina will battle you the length of the floor. Now Hayline will get the pass underneath. Double team down the block. will try to kick it out. And a timeout called from the Ron Colley. Inbound right of the basket with a minute gone third quarter. Inbound play will come to McNary. He'll kick it right side to Holmstrom. The three from the corner is short. No good. And it bounces straight up and falls in good. Oh, my goodness. I took my eye off it to mark down a missed shot. It bounced straight up after it hit the rim short and falls in good. So Holmstrom will get the, the big break on the three, and the Cavs have a 31-14 lead. Gabe DeRosier is with the basketball out at the center circle against the zone defense. will give it left side to Apane and loses control of his dribble. The ball will float right into Hayline's hands, and Ron Colley now attacks. They could take a 20-point lead on a three underneath. Hayline underneath will kick it out on the perimeter. Here's McNary from three, nothing but net. Braden McNary knocks the three down, and it's a 34-14 Ron Colley lead, and Lewis Williams will take another time out here from the Tio Spazina bench with Ron Colley knocking two threes down out of the t- factory rebates and discounts. Check out the lineup at PearsonFord.com or see us in the Auto Plaza, Aberdeen. TZ finds themselves down 20. The Wombity with the basketball. Bruce Gunderson between the circles will get it right side to Dion Iakpa. Dribbles along the arc pass out front for Shepard. Knocked away, but Shepard will get the ball back. Dribbles, picks up the dribble. Now will back it off and will throw it away, trying to wrap it around to Dion Iakpa. And then McNary hits a three and Tio Spazina just looks flustered right now here for the first time tonight. Right side Sam Reinen in the corner will give it to McNary on the right wing. McNary down low, right block to Hayline and he's going to be pushed from behind. It'll be Reinen putting it in play and he'll lob it out front to McNary. TZ stays in the zone defense underneath. Hemrick will get it in the paint. Will go to the basket and a jump ball will be called. Hemrick 34-14. McNary will get it in play to Hemrick. Dribbles now will leave it back off. Hayline a little runner bounces three times on the rim and falls out no good. Rebound taken away by Gunderson. He'll attack the other way. Three from the top of the key is up and in. They'll give it to him. It looked like his foot was on the line, but they'll give it to him from out front. Cavaliers now will quickly bring it the other way. Rhino will get the pass on the wing and now leaves it back to McNary right side. And a push away from the ball. And Jack Crawford's going to file out of the game here. Turnbound in the backcourt to McNary. And now the Wombity look like they're going to come out and just try to hassle Ron Colley all over the floor. Going to overplay everything. Hemrick right corner will get it to Reinen out front. Now back to McNary. He'll launch from three right side. That one off the back rim. No good. Rebound. And an over the back call is going to be whistled on Tio Spazina as... Lewis Williams talking to the official from the bench, but TZ's just kind of unraveling here. Now here's Holmstrom from three up and in. Daniel Holmstrom knocks it down three. The Cavaliers smelling blood here. They lead at 39-17 and are starting to heat it up a little bit. Bruce Gunderson with the ball right side will leave it back in the corner for Kobe Carlson. Carlson guarded on the wing. will get it out top to Shepard. Shepard left wing comes to between the circles to Carlson. Now Iakpa kicks it left side to DeRosiers. He'll drive baseline and takes it to the hole up and in. Gabe DeRosiers a nice baseline drive to see the lane and take it in for two. Ron Colley's lead still at 20 here. TZ showing some trapping type pressure. Cavs will break the break it down, get it to Hayline across the timeline. Now they'll give it to, back to McNary. Down underneath, they'll work it to Hayline. He puts it up and in, count it. And then uh, trying to guard after the uh, shot. First foul attempt of the night here is up and rims and falls out no good, but Reinen right there with the follow puts it up and in. It took a full trip around the rim, rattles out, and Reinen all alone with the putback will put it down good. Here's Iakpa in the corner, or rather in the paint. He'll get the pass and will be whistled for a trap timeout, and Tios Pazina is going to come out in full court pressure and just overplay everything, trying to force some turnovers and chip away and get that back into this game. Cavaliers will break the pressure down. Landon Hayline gets a pass across the timeline. Now we'll put the ball in the belly of Daniel Holmstrom. He'll dribble out front, gets it right wing for Hayline. TZ into man pressure, and here is a foul away from the basketball. Mc- over-aggressive type fouls that has not helped them at all, and McNary's free th- second one on the way is off the back rim. No good. Gunderson will pull down the loose ball and will hurry back the other way. Gunderson will pull a three off the break, up and in. Second three of this uh, third quarter, 
for Bruce Gunderson. And that will cut the lead to 44-22. Holmstrom will bring it across the timeline. He'll bring it to the foul line. And now we'll give it to Hemrick High Post. Pass to come back out front for Holmstrom. And here's a pass underneath intended for Hemrick. Ball knocked away. And uh, Braden McNipower in the game will inbound for uh, the Cavaliers right of the basket. Schaefauer looking will lob it out front for Holmstrom. He'll get the ball. Gives it off left side. Gus Reedy will go left corner for Schaefauer from three. Shot is up and off the mark. No good. Don't have to take the three, especially when you got to drive to the baseline. But Tio Spazina wanting to get Ron Colley now pushing it up and down. Here is a uh, drive to the basket by Gunderson. Little runner up and no good. And Gunderson's going to go up with a one and one. Front end is good. McNary 4 of 5 already from the free throw line here in this third quarter. McNary. And it's on the way up and in and out. No good. Schaefauer, though, the rebound will pull it down and will bring it back out on the perimeter. Cavaliers will work it to Hayline inside. Reedy will square from three launches. And the shot is up and no good. Shot will kick off. Gunderson will get it up the floor quickly. Apine will go to the basket. Shot won't go. And a blocking foul is going to be called on Reedy at the back end. Second free throw is up, and that one is also good. And TZ again, kind of riled up. They're going to play him full court, one-on-one. -on -one. McNary will bring it up one-on-one -on -one against DeRoziers. Brings it across the timeline. McNary will get the dribble over to Reedy, and he'll be fouled out front there by Austin. But plenty more to give. Free throw for Reedy's up and good. His first points free throw. And again, Cavs will have two shots on every foul the rest of the way. Second shot up and in. Uh, Colley will pick up defense. Slider zone out front. Gunderson will get it in high, and the ball is knocked away by Everson. And uh, the Cavaliers will force the turnover back at the other end. Here's Schaefauer to the basket. He'll go in, and he'll draw a foul as Apane tries to come up. One more for Schaefauer is up and no good. So 6 of 12. And Tio Spazina trying to do everything they can to get back in this game. Here's Apane to the basket, and he's going to go in strong. Schaefauer is going to call, kind of, kind of collect his breath back. Ron Colley now the other way. Everson across the timeline will give it to Hayline, and now out top it comes to Schaefauer. Right side to Reedy on the perimeter, now to uh, McNary over on the left wing, and here's a whistle away from the basket. Tunity here. And it's up and rattles in and out. No good. So one of two. 48-24, the Ron Colley lead with 2.10 to go third quarter. Gunderson will give it to DeRoziers. Left of the key, thought about the three, now gives it right side to Gunderson. Gunderson will go right corner. Here's Iakpa from three. Shot way short. Battle for the rebound is loose, and Shepard will get it back inside, and Hayline will foul him up. But again, Tio Spazina making it ugly here. Pushing the, uh, pushing the defense. Now they're going to back off as Jaden Everson will bring it across the timeline. Everson will direct traffic out front, and now we'll get rid of it to McNary over on the left side of the floor. McNary guarded hard by DeRoziers will get a screen right. Can't utilize it. Now the long skip pass will come to Schaefauer over on the left wing. Schaefauer top of the key to Reedy. He'll penetrate the lane. Dishes left side. Everson from 15 will launch it up and in. Everson just inside the three-point line. Looks at it from the perimeter and knocks it down good. A minute and a half to play, third quarter. TZ the other way. DeRozier's right baseline will drive in, and a blocking foul is going to be called on. Pass will come to TZ. Shot is up. Uh, no good by Carlson on the block, but then the follow shot put up and in by DeRozier's. And that will cut the lead to uh, 21. A minute 10 to play here, third quarter. Everson with the ball left of the key. We'll get it to McNary out front. McNary with the basketball will drive in the lane, dumps it underneath the Hemrick who puts it up and in. And bodies flopping all over the floor, and the referees just let it go. And now up the floor, the ball from DeRoziers. He tries to draw a flop, and now here's a reaching foul inside. And in, a foul will be called on Austin Shepard. Double bonus for almost four minutes already. Second free throw, up and no good. Rebound <laughs> is knocked around, and Schaefauer is going to go over the back. And uh, Tio Spazina's made it ugly, and we'll try to get back within a striking distance here. Left side here is Shepard underneath. Little reverse layup won't go, and a foul on the rebound is going to be called on Schaefauer inside again. Wow. The pass will come right side and dribbling it off the foot. Shepard trying to take it to the basket will dribble it at the Cavaliers out in front with a handy margin. In the backcourt is uh, Holmstrom. He'll bring it across the timeline. We'll drive and we'll dish to Reinen on the left wing. Reinen will penetrate in, dumps it down low. Hemrick is going to be hammered as he goes in. Shot no good. Appa still there fine. On the foul line, second shot is up and off the mark no good. 
TZ back the other way. And uh, Gunderson out front with 15 seconds to play in the quarter. We'll get it right side to DeRosiers on the wing. Back to Gunderson. Now left side, Carlson will try to dump it in to Apine, the ball. And we'll get it to Carlson in the corner. Out top, it comes to DeRosiers. He'll take it to the lane, kicks it right side. Here is Shepard, and his shot is up. It won't go, and that will be the third quarter of play. Mercifully, it ends. Ron Cowley, Cavaliers, 8 of 19 from the free throw line in the third quarter. They lead it 53-29, but again, it's gotten a little chippy at times. Here's Gunderson, baseline drive. He gets hung up too far underneath. He'll dump it off to Kobe Carlson, who puts it off the glass up and in. TZ will stay in that full court man pressure. Sam Ryan will get the inbound pass and will get it across the timeline. Now we'll get it to Hayline, who will do a good job to gather himself, pulls it in on the block, and we'll get it off to Daniel Holmstrom. Cavaliers will try to calm things down a a little bit. We'll bring it back out front. We'll get into the offense. Right side, Hayline. We'll get it top of the key to Ryan. And underneath is Hemrick. He's going to be run over by Kobe Carlson and they let it go. Wow. Hemrick just got completely bulldozed, taking it to the basket and they let it go. And at the other end, they call a foul. And 333. In the backcourt is Holmstrom. He'll bring the ball across the timeline. And TZ staying man-on-man -man defensively. Cavaliers will slow it down here, get into their offense. Landon Hayline will get the ball on the left wing. TZ overplaying the uh, passing lanes. Get it to Reinen out front now, right side to Holmstrom, right of the key. Ball to McNary. Guarded by DeRosiers. He'll penetrate. Dishes right side. Holmstrom from three is up and shot no good. Rebound is uh, Hemrick in the lane. He'll put it up and in, and a charge is going to be called. You've got 50 to go. There's still a lot of time in this game, and you can. It's just got the feeling one of those crazy nights could potentially happen. Left side, Carlson on the wing. Will drive baseline. Scoops it up and underneath. Shot won't go. Hemrick the rebound. We'll get it off to McNary. McNary leaves it to Holmstrom and the Cavs will bring it across the timeline. Man-on-man -man pressure here by Tio Spazina. Right side, Hayline on the perimeter. Guarded hard by Gunderson. Hayline will drive in, and Shepard just, again, rakes Hayline out on the wing and doesn't get it. Now Hayline will get it low block, and a foul is going to be called on Tio Spazina and Gunderson. T and first of two is up and good. And again, right now, the Cavaliers got to shoot better than 8 of 19 from the free throw. And they've been getting away with fouls here in this fourth quarter. Second free throw for Hayline up and in just because they won't have anybody left. Timeout now on the floor. I think three, Ron Colley with the lead. 6-18 to play here in the basketball game, and it's ugly. And uh, Teo Spazina with the basketball will work the offense. Ron Colley back in the zone defense, just trying to take away the middle. Here's Gunderson, a long three left wing is up and off the back rim, no good. Long rebound will kick out. DeRosiers will grab it. He'll back it up on the perimeter. Thought about the three. Now we'll give it off to Austin Shepard on the wing. Shepard comes out top. Here's a long three from DeRosiers up and in. That thing again, three feet beyond the three-point line, and he'll drain it in good. 55-36 with 5.50 to play. Holmstrom across the timeline will bring it left, gives it high post to Hayline. Now they'll give the ball back off to Holmstrom out front. Holmstrom to Hayline, right wing, and now McNary wasn't looking for the basketball. The Cavaliers try to get it to him. It's picked off, and now the Cavs will knock it back the other way. Ryan into the basket will lay it up. Shot won't go, but McNary is right there with the follow to lay it up and in. Sam got some contact that they let go, but McNary right there trailing on the play gets it to fall in good. TZ at the other end. Kobe Carlson thought about the three. Now Gunderson will take the three from the corner and knocks it down good. Of course he does. 57-39, and uh, Tio Spazina will pick up man defense at midcourt. Across the timeline, Holmstrom will penetrate the lane. He'll give it off to Hemrick on the perimeter. Now Ron Colley will pull it back out. They'll work it down low block to Hayline. Shot up off the glass and in. Hayline has really responded well when he's got it down low here tonight. 12 for Hayline, and it's back to a 20-point lead. Three minutes gone, fourth quarter. Across the timeline to Rosiers will uh, give it into the left corner to Gunderson. He'll launch one just inside the three-point line. Can't get it, but follows his shot. Puts up a follow and misses, and Holmstrom there with the rebound. He'll dribble away, getting all sorts of traffic, and now will pass it off to McNary, who's uncontested, and will walk it across the right side of the floor. Back to Holmstrom with four and a half minutes to play. Holmstrom will look for Ryan 
and now gets it to him right of the key. Rhino will give it right side to McNary on the perimeter. McNary will get a screen. They'll give and go down low to Hayline. He'll put it up in traffic. Again, shot won't go, and the rebound is knocked away by near midcourt. Left side, DeRosiers will skip it over to Austin Shepard on the right wing. Shepard now to Gunderson running the baseline. Takes it, will dump it off, and will throw it away as Holmstrom comes up with the basketball. They'll feed it down the floor to McNary, who lays it up and in. Left hand side with his right hand and knocks it down good. And now Holmstrom trying to come through. Austin Shepard will put it in play out top to DeRosiers. Dave DeRosiers dribbles left, gives it to Gunderson. Quick three, fired up, shot won't go. Rebound batted around, and Holmstrom is going to be completely taken off the puck by both the Akpa and Shepard, and a foul is going to be called inside Just to keep your cool because uh, TZ's been coming after him hard. And it's been physical. Free throw for Holmstrom though, down, but second free throw for Holmstrom on the way is up and good. So the Cavaliers now 4-4 from the line here, fourth quarter, trying to take care of business here in the final 3.40 to play. Inside, the ball will go to Yakfa underneath. Carlson's shot is up and good. Kobe Carlson, a good job to get position inside. McNary there to uh, follow it up, or to contest it. Port man pressure, and again, go after everything. They're not going to give up till the final buzzer sounds. The inbounds pass will come to Zach Hemrick. Hemrick will get it in the backcourt, gives it to Landon Hayline. Hayline getting all sorts of pressure, and now we'll get it across the timeline to Hemrick with the pass. Cavaliers break the pressure down. It was ugly, but they get it done, and now Holmstrom will get the ball as Jared Appenay has taken up residence in Daniel Holmstrom's jockstrap. He is just all over. Over him as uh, he brings, tries to get the ball up the floor. Now left side, here's a give and go. Holmes from underneath, pushed in the back and they let it go. You gotta be kidding me! You've gotta call that foul at the other end. Here comes TZ. Left side, the ball is knocked away by Holmstrom. It goes in the backcourt and running it all the way down beyond Iakpa. But boy, the, they've just swallowed their whistle here in this fourth quarter. Somebody's gonna end up getting hurt. Here's a long three from DeRosiers, and of course it's up and in, closer to the center circle than the. Uh, uh, three-point line. And now the inbounds pass with the basketball. DeRosiers will drive to the basket, count it, and he's fouled by Holmstrom taking it in. Now yeah, this is Tios Bazina. I mean, they're still down 19, but they've got a chance and everything's starting to fall for them. And the Cavaliers are playing right into their hands. Front end of two is up and good. And again, give credit to the kids because they're keeping their head about them and are making their free throws. Second free throw. And that one on the way is up and good as well. Uh, Collie will come back and will get into the zone defense. DeRosiers with the basketball will launch the three left side and knocks it down good. Wow. And he ends up on his back trying to get the whistle. Didn't get it, but Gabe DeRosiers could throw it in from the parking lot, and it's going to find the bottom of the net. Here's Holmstrom at the other end bringing the ball to the foul line. Now he'll back it out. Left side. They'll give it off to Reinen on the wing. Dribbles along the arc, and Austin Shepard's going to pick up the his third foul of five minutes at least. Second free throw on the way is no good for Reinen, and the rebound will be grabbed by Kobe Carlson. Carlson will give it to DeRosiers. Now top of the key, Carlson will launch from three, and of course it's nothing but net. Absolutely. You know it's going in when they throw it up. Here is the inbound pass to Hayline in the backcourt, guarded hard by Austin Shepard. Holmstrom will get through the traffic now to Hayline. They'll back it off to Holmstrom now with a minute 50 to go. Cavaliers lead has been cut to 14, 66-52, and here's a foul out front called on Shepard. Back rim no good. One more shot here for Holmstrom. Is on the way up and in. So he gets that one to go. And 68-52 now the score. A minute 45 to play. Here's DeRosiers from three. Launches. And this one hits the front rim short. No good. Follow shot is up by Iakpa and it won't go. And a foul is going to be called inside. And I think Braden. And at the line, Austin Shepard front end of the one and one is good with a minute 38 to go. Away. And excuse me, that's Apene at the free throw line. He gets them both to go. I thought it was Shepard, but it was Apene. And he gets the shots to fall. Ron Colley now will get it in the backcourt. And <laughs> Daniel Holmstrom is actually going to be grabbed his jersey by uh, Dion Iakpa. Or excuse me, that's DeRosiers. DeRosiers just his 68-54 Cavs. Free throw on the way is in and out. Find a way to hang on for the win. Second free throw good. So it's a 15-point lead with a minute 33 to go. But the way this game is going, anything can happen. Here's Gunderson. Tries a behind-the-back throw over to the left wing. And immediately, Apene is going to foul Jerry. 
And the second of the two free throws on the way. Banked home good. Yeah, any way it can go in, you'll take it. Now the ball is going to roll out, and Everson is going to come out and make TZ pick it up. DeRozier's left of the key. And you, oh, my goodness. DeRozier's leads in with Everson up in the... As soon as a Cavalier player touches the basketball, third free throw missed everything, and they... Sam Ryan will inbound underneath the basket, and we'll get it in play to Gus Reedy. And Reedy will be slapped by uh, two shots here with 121 to go. And the free throw is off the back with 121 to go. Second shot on the way is good. So Reedy now TZ is going to let the ball roll out here, and DeRozier's will just let it bounce out to the across the timeline now. And DeRosiers will pick it up. Ron Colley in man defense. DeRosiers will take it in. Shot high off the glass, no good. Hayline gets the rebound and is going to be slapped from behind again by Eastman. And he can't believe he's going to get called for a. Hayline is uh, 14 or 14 points tonight on the line. Four, 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 five from the line here, second half. And the free throw in and out, and he gets it to fall in good. 72 56 the score. And the second free throw coming for Hayline is up and in. So Ron Colley gets them both to go. And again, it's going to go all the way to the very end of the ballgame like this. Bruce Gunderson with the basketball will drive left, puts up a 15-footer. Shot will not fall. Hangs off, falls away, no good. And McNary gets the rebound and is going to be fouled. And actually, they're going to blow it on TZ. They call Dion Iakpa with that one. This one just has been one that you won't forget. Maybe not in a good way. First free throw for Boo. You can't fault them for just making it an ugly game because what they were doing earlier wasn't working. Free throw for McNary up and good. He gets them both. But again, it was, it's was. it been an ugly second half, and the uh, best part here is get everybody out of here and safe and looking ahead. Now here's Iakpa off the miss. He'll launch a three from out front. It won't go. McNary will grab the rebound, and uh, he'll get rid of it to Hemrick. They'll back it off. Teo Spazina will stay after it. Hayline, or, uh, Holmstrom will get it across the timeline to McNary, and now the Cavaliers are just going to spread the floor here and play catch. I don't even think they'll look to the basket, leaving their starters on the floor, but just wanting to uh, knock the uh, clock down. And uh, Todd Neundorf had a line ready to check in, but pulls him away. Now out front, here's Iakpa. He'll launch a three, and he's going to be fouled out front there by Ryan. The second one is up and no good. And it's on the way, off the mark, no good. Rebound, though, run down by Micah Eastman. I'll get it back to Iakpa, who launches a three and knocks that one in. Hag will inbound out to Bronson Heyer. Now back it comes to Hag. Five seconds to go. The Cavs get it across. Logan Karst will cover it up, and he's going to... Eastman's going to come through and knock the ball away with his back to him, but whatever. It's over. The Cavaliers will advance to the stage. It's a hard one to survive. It just... They turned it ugly and kind of had to because you guys were having your, your, your way with them. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. It kind of, I was having flashbacks of Coach Larson's girls game. Mm -hmm. As shots were, they were throwing shots up and you just knew it was going in. And some of them were deep, you know. Um, but, <clears throat> you know, we weathered it a little bit. And I, I, I thought our kids, for the most part, kept their composure. I thought, you know, I yeah. thought there was a chance when we had it at 24 and Daniel went on a backdoor cut for a layup and... He got pushed, and there was nothing, and, uh, you know, that would have made it 26, and and uh, so, you know, then they come down, hit a three, and now it's 19, and you can feel the place, you know, starting to swing, but our kids stepped up. Landon Hayline was huge on the free throw line. It really was. Um, you know, we, we kind of thought they were going to come out with that jug, and Hammer, and Lando, and then our guards, you know, Braden, from a week ago, or from earlier this week, you know, and he's lighting it up from the perimeter. Got to give Braden credit. He, he, we said, hey, we're going inside against these guys. And he went right down to Hammer and Lando right off the bat, and we got some stuff inside. Yeah, a big start early just gives you that cushion. And, again, you led the whole way, but they were nipping at the heels. And, you know, I, the, the big start was important. Yeah, it really was. And, you know, I, like I told you in the pregame, I knew it would be six schools to one, and, and it was. And uh, and that's okay <clears throat> because, you know, that's, that's a good thing when, you know, um, when that happens. And our kids, I'm proud of them, and it's a, it's a huge weight off their shoulders, and it's a huge weight off my shoulders to be quite honest with you because there's a lot of pressure on these kids when you come in as number one 
and you come here, I mean, we have a target anyway, but the target just a lot bigger. And, and when you're number one and you come into an atmosphere that's hostile and, mm. and whatever, I'm really proud of them because... Uh, I knew when we got here today, it was workmen. There wasn't any monkeying around in the locker room. They were sitting there ready to go, and and uh, they were they were pretty focused. And uh, you know, I'm really proud of them. Uh, we look back as coaches. We look back and. I look back to the night we played Clark, and yeah. I think that was a big turning point in this team's uh, uh, season uh, because I think we thought we were pretty good mm -hmm. going into Clark, and Clark uh, put it right between the eyes for us. And so that really straightened our ship back out. And uh, I said ship. <laughs> straightened our ship back out. And, uh, and I just think with with that happening that refocused this group and um you know played played a really good region tournament really did and again uh i guess i complimented the kids down the stretch too because it's hard to keep your cool and keep your composure in a game like this you're going to the line you went to line 44 times in the second half yeah i know and it was it could have been 54 to be quite honest it with you. really could have yes you know and uh it was hard because i wasn't keeping my cool you know and and uh so there was, um, uh, you know, quite a quite a game. So uh, anyway, uh, we're excited. Looks like Clark Willow Lake wins, and uh, and winner moves on 62-61. So um, you know, looks like to me that all the higher seeds higher seeds won, and, mm -hmm. and I don't know what Lennox and Canton how that turned out. That would be the only. Uh, uh, other game, and so you would play. We would play either one. Either one of those two, right? right. You know, uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think when the way I look at it, who wants? Len Lennox, Lennox over Canton. Lennox so, over Canton. Okay. So we'll play Lennox, and you know we kind of thought that going in. The only thing that would have been different had Sioux Valley beat uh, Clark, Clark. Mm -hmm. and then we'd have probably played Clark. Yeah. Or excuse me, played Sioux Valley. Sure. Sure. So. Well, again, a win is a win, and uh, it wasn't pretty tonight. It was a, a rough second half, but, you know, like you say, the kids keep their composure, and now a week to prepare for state tournament, and uh, three more left. At least you know there's three more games to go. Yeah, that's, that's the way you want to end the year, and our kids have been really fortunate. We've been fortunate as coaches, you know, and this will be six and nine years, and that's, that's pretty cool, you know, just, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, all the people that were talking behind my back about saying, I got hotel rooms, don't tell Noondorf we've got hotel rooms, they can <laughs> talk now yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can talk now in front of me but uh, uh, it's it's exciting it doesn't get old and uh, it's you know it's just a lot of fun and and uh, we're real real happy and excited and I, I love those kids um, it's been a good group for you oh boy and they're and they you know right up to the end you know Sam plays a whale of a game and right up to the end you know 17 seconds he jumps out and follows that kid mm -hmm. shooting a three and I just look at him and like and he just looks at me like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. But that's what kind of keeps this group uh, on the up and up. They're just, you know, they kind of go with the flow and they have fun. And that's the big word. That's been the, the word for the year is fun. They seem to be having fun and they're smiling and laughing. And so this will this will take a lot off the shoulders. Absolutely. Enjoy this week. Good preparation for state tournament. We'll see you out in Rapid City. Huge. All right. Thank you.